Hey there, it's Jameson, and um, I had what I thought might be kind of a harebrained idea um, because I'm still, I still consider myself new to this glass fusing. So there may be others who watch this who are very seasoned professionals who'd say, well, duh, I've been doing that for years, but um, I thought it was a good idea that I came up with and I'm going to give it a shot and I thought I would share it with you and we'll see if it works. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed. So I have uh, one of these uh, stainless steel molds. I wanna make a scrap melt with it. I'm going to line this with fiber paper. I will then spray it with zip so that I can hopefully use that fiber paper lining more often. But that's not the point of this video. What I wanted to show you though is um, for this scrap melt, I wanna start with a base of clear Tecta on the bottom. So uh, I you know, could cut a circle out of Tecta just like others. But if you're like me, I've got so much scrap. I've got so much of this Tecta scrap. And so I, and because it's going to be the bottom of a scrap melt, I didn't really care about the appearance and having potentially seams in the bottom. So I've decided that I can try to cut a circle out of what is four strips of glass. I also have this uh, Morton system board and there are lots of, um, tools. That I bought beetle bits, but uh, it also comes with Cutters Mate, or you can buy them individually, but there are these little stops and stuff that you can use. Never used a single one of them, but it occurred to me that if I could butt these four pieces of Tecta up right next to each other and have nice um, tight lines, that maybe I could put some of these in to help me. Uh, let's see if I figure out how to use this to um, to help me, uh, <laughs> doing it the wrong way, backwards here, to help me kind of lock this glass in and keep it from moving such that I could use my circle cutter then to, um, to score four pieces of glass at once and end up with uh, scrap pieces here that resemble a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place these, lock this glass in, it's cold in the garage and I don't like to cut cold glass, so I've also got a hair dryer. I'm going to kind of warm this glass up. Then I'm going to place my circle cutter, try to get a nice score, and then break these pieces out. And let's see if I can get a circle out of four rectangular pieces of scrap. Wish me luck. Okay, there you go. I had a little issue with the cutting head that I had to address in the middle, and I also realized that part of the flaw of my design was that I had four pieces of glass and there was a seam down the middle, and therefore this would not um, stick, of course, to the theme because or seam because it was letting air through. So I added a fifth piece of glass so that I had a shot, solid sheet in the middle, and uh, then that allowed me to get good suction. And once I fixed the cutter head that was just dull, uh, I ran this thing around and there you go. I managed to get a circle out of what ended up starting as uh, five rectangles. So I'm pretty pleased. Uh, okay, here's a little bonus segment because I just wanted to make sure I needed to cut another one that was about eight inches. And uh, I thought that first one that I filmed, was that just dumb luck uh, or could I do it again? So um, I didn't film the whole process here, but I did um, successfully, I think, score another circle, this time out of three pieces. I just love this way to use scrap glass. I mean, that's what a scrap melt is anyway, is you're using a bunch of scrap. And so um, in this case, I'm getting my bases out of scrap and not spending using my good glass on a base for a scrap melt. So it appears to be working yet again. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to um, kind of prove in a second shorter segment that yes, it is uh, possible to do this again. So I'll cut this middle piece out, but you can see where I'm going. Thanks very much. Bye.